Hello and welcome back to another part of Sonic Forces. Wait, I think a lot, of, a lot of stuff is gonna happen in this part. Even though, like, you know, they're gonna be some important cutscenes you're gonna miss. This is gonna be a really big part, and next week we should be done with this game. So I hope you're excited. Let's get right into Red Gate Bridge. But before I do, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't put a text up because this is a PS4 video. So I'm just gonna probably say that at the beginning and the end of the video. Maybe throughout the video. But anyway, um, let me know what your favorite stage is. Because like I said, my favorite uh, stages with Modern Sonic are uh, Sunset Heights and Network, Network Terminal, which we're gonna come to soon. And for Classic Sonic, I guess it's Casino Forest or um, Ghost Town. Definitely no, 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 Chemical Plant. I think it's Chemical Plant. And then with a the rookie, I also I really like Park Avenue. But enough of what my favorite stage is. Let me know down below, and let's get right into the stage. I don't like sitting on the bench. But there's nothing to do till Tails gets back. Awkward. Way to jinx it. Metal Sonic has been spotted in the city! Uh-oh. Is it another fake? Well. Why would they bother making a fake out of something that already isn't real? Couldn't they just build more? You know, at first I actually didn't understand that, and then I remembered that Metal Sonic is a copy of Sonic, and making a fake Metal Sonic means you have a copy of a fake Sonic, which is a copy of a Sonic, and I just kind of feel dumb. Either way, it's getting wrecked. Let's go, partner. Look at my boy and his shades. He is looking clean. He got that swag. Oh, darn it. Don't tell me I didn't change my weapon. Oh, please. Tell me I have drill. What do I have? Uh, not to go change my weapon. Because for this fight, and also for the final battle against Infinite, it is wise for you to use a drill. Hmm? No. Did, did I say that? I don't think so. Uh, oh my days. Yeah, blah blah blah. What is that drill? Okay, there we go. Now we are ready to destroy some Metal Sonic. Let's do this. Wow, it's already been three minutes into the video and I've done absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go! Metal Sonic was spotted near there. Strange, I don't see him anywhere. Whoa. Oh. Ooh, that was a close one. Plus we teabag and then we get out of the way. Keep it up. Oh, this equipment is going to fall out. What happened to you guys when you play in the party on the PS4? Oh yeah, you got to use your headset. Anyway, we just blew up that robot with the power of teamwork. The city. And let's get right into this battle, which is actually. <laughs> Like most of the bosses in this game. Pissing right through this boy. Now the cool thing about drill is, as well as it making you go super fast, you also have invincibility whilst you're um, charging up. And also whilst you charge as well, so it, it, it grants you invincibility and it makes you really fast. It's the perfect weapon. I mean, the perfect wisp one. Oh wait, they're just using. Watch this. <laughs> what's the metal metal Sonic? Wait, is this what's the metal? Oh my god. Okay, see, look at this. He's coming right at us. I'm like, nope. And that is a critical hit because you can do the same thing with the other wisp ones, like burst, hover. Asteroid and lightning, but it would only count as one third of a hit and not a whole three hits. 
Oh yeah. Now we're gonna da -da 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 double double boost. And that's the and that's the boss fight, everyone. You know, a good one minute and fifty-two seconds, or fifty, or two minutes, somewhere somewhere around there. Oh yeah, look at him. Go Wait, I, what do you mean I go on A rank? I beat the stage in under two minutes, and I did it with the power of the drill wisp on. You can give me more credit, Sega. This power. Okay, so that was just a cutscene, but um, Sonic was just like, well done, buddy, you did it. And in that cutscene, I realized that my character is purple. And hey, we got the city back. Sweet. Oh. Okay, before we go there, I just need to change my character. Oh, no, no, no. In the cutscene, he looks like he was purple, so like, wait, how have I not noticed this? But, nah, never mind. Okay. On to Guardian Rock, stage 20. Okay, got it, Sonic. I figured out a way to stop Eggman's Phantom Ruby. Great work, Tails. Based on these readings, the Phantom Ruby requires an incredible amount of energy, which only the Death Egg can provide. Interesting. We simply stop the energy transfer, and boom! The Phantom Ruby is practically useless. Simply? Last I checked, the Death Egg is a heavily fortified, well, Death Egg. True, but I came up with a plan. Let's hear it. First, we distract Eggman. While he's not paying attention, we use the chemical plant computer to hack into the Death Egg's weapon systems and shut it down. <sighs> okay. With no weapons, destroying the Death Egg will be a piece of cake. No Death Egg means the Phantom Ruby is nearly useless. Nearly, you say. Well, what? Is there like a 1% chance that I might wipe out the whole Earth? No, you know, it's just crazy enough to work. So, first we need a distraction. <laughs> I'm on it. Ooh. No way, Knuckles. You're too easily distracted. Burn! It's not a good trait for a distraction. Plus, you're our commander. We kinda need you here. Burned. Knuckles, you just got burned with a capital B. Oh my days. Anyway, come on, come on. How about the rookie? Eggman would never expect it. It may even throw him off a little. That's racist. I mean, um, why would it throw him off? Good idea. You got your orders, rookie. We only have one more day before Eggman's plan what is executed. But so let's hustle. What what am I looking at? Why? Why is his mouth like that? Okay, on to one of my least favorite stages in the game, Guardian Rock. I've actually only played this stage once. So I do not really remember how it goes. Hang on! It's a multi-legged battle neck! The energy readings are off the charts! So Eggman had another weapon of his What? What? I'm I, it was the, why couldn't I just go under it? I didn't even know Drill was using this level, because I know you can use burst and lightning, but I did not know you could use drill. And I yeah, since I've only played this level once, I don't really remember it. So I'm probably not gonna do good. Um, I don't understand what you want. Do you want me to make a lot of noise or do you want me to make a certain amount of noise? Oh no, oh no, I, I wasn't looking. Oh, this is actually pretty good though. You know, now I'm supposed to remember the level and the text and stuff. But, and I should remember replaying this level to get S rank, but. Oh wow, I'm, I'm almost done already? Wow, wow, this level... I, I mean, I know these levels are short, but I actually thought I would struggle way more. I don't think I need to use R1 and L1, I think I can just use the left stick. You know, same with grinding. But, when it comes to grinding, I actually prefer to use L1 and R1. Oh my god, I can't move this. Oh, 
look at me go! Oh, oops, oops, that was my turn. Actually, I think I prefer to use R1 and R1 instead of using the left stick. Because remember in Atomic Colors, you, um, because you're playing with, if you play with Wii Remote and Nunchuck, you kind of have to use the left stick. I mean, the analog stick. So, mm, it's kind of weird. But there we go, done with the level. And man, why can't we have a green hill stage like that where it's just pure green? No sand, no mechanical, no nothing. But anyway, we got ourselves another A rank. Hopefully we can get more S ranks. And by more I mean get S ranks. Because, you know, we haven't got any yet. Anyway, look at all this stuff that I don't really care about. Yada yada yada. Okay. Time for Network Terminal, one of my favorite stages. Oh yeah, one back green hill. Hey, it's almost half and half. Meh. Ah, oh, there it is, Network Terminal. I'm almost at the chemical plant. How's the rookie doing with the distraction? So far, so good. We might have to stop using the nickname Rookie if the kid kicks this up. Man, why can't I just name my character? Next, we've got to get to the computers at the chemical plant and shut down the Death Egg's weapon system. Yeah, because Sonic, of all characters, will definitely know how to do that. Show sent Amy or something. Perfect. I've been waiting for my turn to bust some heads. <laughs> okay, stage 21, Network Terminal. Uh, that music. Oh boy. Hey, you want to see something dumb? Did you see that? You see that? I was just running in the air. But, but guys, guys, did you see? Did you see that? Did you see how I was running in the air? You know, I was trying to go back, but it just didn't work out. But anyway, let's do this. Why does Chemical Plant look so good? I think it's the best looking area from all of them. But just look at this place. And I think this is the early stage where you truly get to uh, embrace the environment in Chemical Plant. Because with, with Spaceport, which is stage 2, you don't really get the same feel that you get in this level. Of that realisticness. So I'm like, don't cut yourself off. Ah, oh, now I get this music. I like how the music changes when you go in and out of the area. When you're outside, you have this, you have the other type of music, and then when you come in, you get this music, which is nice and relaxed. Okay, don't want to get shut down by this water. Uh, uh, not uh, waterfalls. I, I was thinking of calling them geysers, but they're not going up. So I was like. Hmm, what does one cause such thing? Okay, let's just keep back whilst we wait. You know, like every Sonic fan. One, two, three, four. Skip that by doing an aerial boost. Meme right. achieved, video one, we can all go home. I, I don't even know what that means, I just heard it in the video. S rank, baby, because my favorite stage in the game. I mean, <clears throat> one of my favorite stages in the game. Ew, we got another gamer hat. Like, no. And also, if I put that hat on my character, then he'll just lose one of his quills, and that will look weird. Ah, come on, just give me some good shoes. I want some good shoes. Ah! Oh, there we go, you see those? Those are Sonic Soap shoes from Sonic Adventure 2. Except they're a different colour. But soon enough we'll get the perfect colour. Oh my days, I don't need why there's so much stuff. <laughs> why? It's too much! Oh finally! Okay. 
Hey, we're beating Eggman now. And also, this, the music has just changed. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna change my rookie now because if I don't do it now, I feel like I'm just gonna forget or something. So, where are those shoes? Look at them shoes, look. And it matches with the glove still. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm gonna change this to bust. Yeah, bust. Let's see, the thing is bust can actually be used in every level. And I think also lightning as well. Burst and lightning can both be used in every level, which, which is really cool. Now's your chance. Move. I think also, oh yeah, and also asteroid, which grants invincibility. But anyway, it's time to destroy the death egg. Hurry, just destroy the death egg and cut off the power supply. You're making it sound like a walk in the park. This is a death egg. Don't sweat. The other Sonic has this under control. Here we go. Stage 22. Death Egg. And the location? Death Egg. Here we go. The defense system's still up. I thought we shut it down. Probably switched over to auxiliary power. Not to worry. Sonic's okay. on the job. He'll find a way through. Anyways, I'm in the rings. I don't have super Sonic. Okay. Anyway, welcome to Death Egg. It is kind of similar to the original version from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 in terms of like these like paths that just come and go and also the fact that we're seemingly swapping gravity and I did not mean to get hit. I mean why would I want to get hit? Yeah, like, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say. That was an accident. I didn't mean to jump right into that laser. I was trying to hit the speed shoes. You see we even have these platforms that are also in Sonic 3. It, it, is definitely like something too. and then we also have these convey abouts we're just missing the boss and um, the ability to get squashed okay gotta go top path you know like this youtuber clockwork said top path gang oh my god speed up like i said top path gang Vector, you need to chill out. You can't just be like smash, smash, smash. Sound like cold. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that skip right there? Take notes, Sonic Forces players. Take notes. Oh my god. Come on, come on, shoot, shoot. I don't have time for this. Three, two, one. Go! And also these things are from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as well. And I really like these. And also the sound they make is pretty good. Oh, invincibility, my bro! Let's go! Okay, Knuckles, I'm already gone. Oh yeah! S rank once again. Looks like the Sonics know just what they're doing. Uh, who is used the facial hair? Uh, no. Uh, I think I actually used those pointy glasses in when I first played the game. Then I was like, yeah. Oh wow, we already got the second. I mean, not second variation, the other variation. Okay, like I was gonna say, um, we have variation of the soap shoes but I don't know the, something about the green one just doesn't click with me I just I like the blue one better I don't know why but. anyway it's time for Metropolitan Highway stage 23 Mission accomplished. The Phantom signal has gotten much weaker. nice wow Rusha's head is so big that her is that is the way out of the circle. This should effectively put a stop to the doctor's greatest weapon. Greatest. The Sonics have made an opening for us. We can't just let that go to waste. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Time to settle the score. You got it, Silva. Now that the Phantom Ruby is out of the way, we can 
finally smash Eggman into an omelet. Mmm, I love me some fried eggs. Hey, don't count your chickens before you smash your eggs. What does that even mean? Rouge is right. The fact that Eggman and Infinite are still around means we can't let our guard down. I just want everyone to get home safely, okay? Oh, Sorry, I heard that from a YouTube video. Alright, fine. Everyone get your game face on. The target is Eggman at the central tower. Game of face, got it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, this stage, and I mean, I haven't really been saying if I like the stage or not. Really. Don't stop, don't look back. Just focus on the task ahead no matter what. Let's do this, everyone. Charge! Now, there aren't really that much stages that I dislike in this game. I, I like most of the stages in this game. I think there are only like five stages that I don't like. Or don't play. So. Yeah. Now this stage, the only problem with this stage is this part here. Because if you're not careful and you're just boosting, then you're just gonna die because you can't drift in this game. And I don't know why they had that curve there, but oh well. And like Michael said, it is time to get our world back. So we are tracking down Eggman and I guess Infinite as well because he's probably with Eggman. And like there was a cutscene after I destroyed the Death Egg, but it was really just the resistance celebrating and Eggman was like, hey Infinite, let's make a tactical retreat. And then Egg Eggman, I mean Infinite was like, I'm quite displeased with that. I don't want to run with my tail between my legs. Okay, almost done. There's a big battle going on. It's okay. We can hold for now. Our other forces are on the move too. We can pull this off. I'm surprised no one's like dying or anything. Yeah. What what? Do you see? Okay. Metropolitan Highway? Out of the way. Is that an S? Oh, that's an S rank, baby. You know that stands for Super Sonic. Okay, get all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Miss Sonic and the Black Knight. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, when can I just go to the cutscene? Hey, that looks like Samus's helmet. You know, the Samus from. Super Smash Bros, Metroid. Okay, I'll see you on the other side of this cutscene. Okay, I I forgot I thought the cutscene was gonna be like after the level, but it's actually gonna be right now. So before the cutscene starts, I'm just gonna say that the cutscene is basically um Eggman and the rookie run into Sonic. I mean, Eggman and the rookie. No, Eggman and Ta no Sonic and Tails run into Eggman, and then the Eggman makes Sonic go in this portal, which is called Null Space. And the rookie tries to save him, but unfortunately gets sucked in there as well. Oh yeah, you can now select Shadow the Hedgehog wave. Wait, Shadow the Hedgehog? I want to play that game. I'm just joking. I was about to say, why is there no circle on the top left of the screen? And then I remembered, I didn't have, I don't have Super Sonic, I just have Shadow. Okay, to no space. Here we go. Stage twenty-four. Let's go. This isn't where we were meant to end up. Let's head back. Everyone waiting for us. Ooh, 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 ooh. The Sonic's meet up once again. We got the swag, we got the speed, we got the shield, we got the buff, we got everything we need. Oh yeah, I forgot. The power of friendship. Let's do this! <clears throat> Go get my vocals ready. Mm -hmm. 
Nah, we're gonna save that for later. We can tell the world what we can do. You were next to me and I'm next to you. Pushing on through until the battle's won. No one's gonna give a thing to us. Into each other we put our trust. Standing united after the fight. It's a Shortcut time will never be a holding the key. A wall we couldn't see. And before I say goodbye to you, one more last goodbye. I actually forgot I could just use the burst to attack and stop coming attacking. Trump did that for the robots earlier. But hey, that was pretty easy. Look at that, I got a 133 seconds. You know, I would have got an S rank if I didn't take that fat shortcut. But hey, I just saved you 30 seconds, so be grateful. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so nothing really happened. There was just we ran, ran into Eggman and then um, we talked a little bit and then just got away. Yep, that's it. It was just like, what? How do you escape no space? And then Sonic was like, not by myself, but I didn't do it by myself, but I had a little help from my friend. Something you wouldn't understand because you didn't have any friends. And then Eggman was like, mm, I'll just have the last laugh. Bye. We've got less than an hour before Eggman's plan goes down. Okay. There's no more time. We have to break into the fortress now. Wow, I actually forgot how serious the story is. It's kind of like how I remember certain parts of the man Sonic story, but I don't remember it as a whole. And this is basically the same thing. I forgot how serious the story is. Even though I play with the radio on when I go through levels. Yeah, hate me for that. Indeed, this is it. Our last opportunity to bring peace back into the world. Whoa. But when the battle ends, we'll have to part with Sonic. I mean this Sonic, won't we? Um, isn't that what you wanted to do the whole time though? Because you can't really be upset at that. Yes, if the Phantom Ruby is gone, I guess he'll be returned to his dimension. Thank you for everything, Sonic. I'll never forget what you did for us. I mean, one, it's not over yet, and two, at least Sonic would be going back to the good future. You know, Sonic Mania Plus, Sonic Mania Adventures, you can pick which one he goes to. Save the sentiments for later. This is not over yet. We still have a battle to fight. SBS right. Exactly. This is our last chance. Give it everything you've got. Okay, so there's gonna be a cutscene and it's basically everyone's doing that little bit, like Knuckles is punching up bad guys, Shadow's barging, silver telekinesis, all that stuff. And then Infinite uh, drops a giant sun and everyone's panicking, but our boy has a Phantom Ruby prototype, which means he is allowed to cancel out the sun. So that's what this level is going to be about. And this is my least favorite level in the game. Actually, no, it's one. It's my least favorite rookie level. That's what I meant. Let's go, Imperial Tower. Okay. Oh, that's a quick loading screen. Ah, I hate this song. It's so depressing. Oh yeah, wall jump. That's the only good thing about this level. Actually no, that's not even good. Because wall jumping just screws you over later in the level. Oh my days, did I really just die to that? No, 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 I'm doing, I'm doing, the, I'm trying to get a one take. Made it so far. We're so close. This is truly world shattering. Isn't there anything we can do? 
Uh, I remember I had to listen to this conversation so much because I was trying to get an S rank on the stage because it was one of the challenges. I know it was actually so annoying. But anyway, welcome to Imperial Tower, everyone. Uh, I hate this. Actually, you know what? I think this is my least favorite stage. But, uh, but the second, but the last um, Sonic and Rookie level, which is called Final Judgment, I actually don't remember how it goes at all. So I'm probably gonna struggle with that one. But I think I did get an S rank on my first try. Okay, okay dodge these electrical waves of energy, I guess. Okay, now this is the hard part because we have to wall jump on a wall. But there's no like ground under the wall. So if we fail the wall jump, then we die. Okay, okay. Can the game You know what? I actually forgot that I can just wall jump on the wall on the right. Wait, what? I don't get my shield? Come on, game. What? That was it. Okay, okay. Actually, you know what? That's what something that's what something fans say when they finish something forces. They're like what? That was it? That was so short. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, having a laugh. Because this level is definitely the definition of a bad stage. And I actually forgot that I can just do this. I don't know why I keep forgetting that's a thing, but yeah. Can you just... Facing the right, I should have been hit to the left. Okay, last away. I mean, we're not really going fast, but you know what I'm trying to say. I mean, I guess. Oh, okay, down we go. We just roast these enemies and up we go. Oh, did I? I just oh, I forgot to jump. You know, I hope this level isn't gonna take too long because I would really like to finish my Sonic Forces video and have it. Actually, you know what? It, this video is definitely gonna be over 30. I mean, over 40 minutes. Unlike the other two parts. Why can I double jump? That doesn't make any sense. But okay. You know, it kind of doesn't help that. Um, I struggle to see images and also I'm playing as a character that's dark blue on a stage that's very dark. Okay, the lost area of the stage. Thanks, Nux. Give me that reload. Oh my dear. Oh yes, red end! Oh, now you're gonna support me, Vector? I mean, I don't think you have to because this is a serious moment, but... Jeez, you're hating on me at the beginning. Okay, that's the level. Now it's time to get rid of that fake sun. What rank did I get? Uh, the first B rank? And you know what B stands for? But you could've done better! I'll see you on the other side of this cutscene after we erase the sun. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to press X for, the, for the, all this stuff. We're gonna. Get, oh, I feel like I needed an S rank. Oh, actually, no, not on this stage. Because I know I'm gonna, about to get the soap shoes. Is it this stage? Oh, nope. Okay, let's destroy that sun. Okay, so we got rid of the sun, and Knuckles is like, this is the turning point, guys. Let's kick some major butt, and on to the next stage. Stage 26, Mortar Canyon. Let's do this. So we're going to be tearing through Eggman's troops, and we are on our way to take down Infinite. So, let's go! That must have used up a ton of energy. 
Fans of Ruby should be weaker now. This is our only chance to defeat Infinite. All ships. We can take the secret path here. That's it. We're getting that through. attention and shield them from damage. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now, I think this is the only Eggman Empire Fortress stage that I like from all of them. All the others, yeah. I mean, actually, Classic Sun is one I used to not like it, but I'm starting to like it more because um, I kind of forced myself to play it. <laughs> So it might just be the rookies and the last two stages in the game. Because they're both in this area, I mean, obviously. Let's finish this! Okay, watch out, watch out! Oh! Oh, come on. Game! Okay! Now we've made it to infinite. It is time for the final battle. Okay, what are you gonna throw at me this time? Yeah, what was that last one? It looked like it had some kind of cow pattern on it. Police hat? Yeah, what is this? What, what is this stuff? Who, who uses this stuff? It looks like that's a chain. Okay, I don't think there's a cutscene. Oh, yeah, nope. Okay, so, so I'm kind of gonna spoil this level, but um, the rookie actually later joins in this level, and the boss fight is actually just the same as the Metal Sonic boss fight, except the Infinite Edition. I mean, the way you attack him is the same. As you know, the boss fight is just the same. Anyway, Sonic's gonna be like, uh, I mean, Infinite's gonna be like, pathetic little hedgehog. Even with the Phantom Ruby weakened, I still have enough power to smash you into a blue jelly. And yes, I know that like, word for word. And then Sonic's like, Infinite, you wanna take me down? I'm gonna show you the power of Sonic. <laughs> Something like that. In a class on, what? I'm in a class. Oh. What would you like your epitaph to read? How about here lies the blue buffoon? Why not here doses the masked clown? Might as well make it for the person who needs one, right? Okay, welcome to the final infinite battle. This one is just like the muscle summit one. And I definitely say he should have just stuck with the special G he used against the rookies. Hey. That one is definitely the hardest one from the three battles. And this one is definitely going to be a piece of cake. As long as you avoid um, the illusion things, you should be good. I mean, that goes for every infinite boss fight, but I mean, like, the illusion things just really screw you over. There's more time, um, more dodging, you know, all that bad stuff. But just like the Master Sonic fight, which we started off with, this part with I just realized. And this is actually gonna be the last level for this part. Because the next three because I feel like I'm gonna struggle with the next with the next Okay, Infinite just got his power back. So that's why that was a cut too. Your mask can't hide how sad and lonely you are. <gasps> oh, that's Ruby close. virtual reality of yours is the real illusion. Oh, that but that was just two hits. Anyway, what we're gonna see is um yeah, I'm going to end the video here, even though I'm almost done with the game, because the last two levels I feel like I'm going to struggle with a lot, which is, um, actually, well, you'll see in the next week's part. But anyway, um, yeah, so, in the, so there was a little cutscene when Infinite goes power back, and um, basically the rookie tried to attack Infinite, he missed. <laughs> Sonic was like, with my friends, I'm going to win. Here goes. And that's right! Let's do this! It's a double boost! Man, the drill is so broken. Like, 
Did you see how quick that boss fight went because of the drill? I mean, usually I think it'll take 30 seconds more. So, once again, be grateful. Cool. Bonds of friendship. Just got an achievement. And you know what else I got? The Supersonic S rank. Perfect way to end off the video. And cool, we got two of those big medallions. Ooh, hover. I think I'll, I'm gonna use Burst for the last two levels. Burst or Asteroid, one of those two. Ew. Oh, that is like something Bowser would wear. Actually, yeah, it does. It's exactly like the um, things Bowser wears on his wrist. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh! Look at those off brand Amy shoes. They. Ugh, this do not look good. Oh my days, I beat one guy and I get. You know, it's not just one guy, it's infinite. So I guess it makes sense why I get a lot of stuff. But, jeez. Okay, so we defeated Infinite and he disappeared, strangely enough. And then, um, Eggman was like, you always seem to surprise me, Sonic. I didn't believe Infinite could, lo could, <laughs> could lose, but victory would be so much sweeter. Don't think this is over yet, you blue nuisance. My plan just went into overtime. And next time, we will be finishing this game. Starting off with Classic Sonic's last stage, my least favorite Classic Sonic stage, by the way, Iron Fortress. And anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Next time, we're gonna kick some Eggman butt. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below what your favorite stages are in this game. What's your favorite Classic Sonic stage? Your favorite rookie stage and your favorite <laughs> Sonic stage? I have a little spit because. I'm talking so fast and also like I guess let me know what your favorite shadow stage and what your favorite um, team stage is and by team stage I mean Sonic and the Rookie I think my favorite shadow stage is probably just the first one because I can get an S rank on it and for the double stages I think it might be uh, I would say probably no space because the music's really good but anyway thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed until next time I will see you later. Remember to check it out. Oh yeah, and also on Saturday, I'm going to be doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Part 2. And I think I'm going to play through two cups. So, if you haven't checked out Part 1, go check that out. And now I don't really have anything else to say. So, bye.